Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I would like to tell you if Mercedes C300 and C class at all is reliable or money pit as some people describe it. I know for sure what's wrong with these cars because I have Mercedes C300 coupe, my girlfriend has Mercedes C300 sedan, we will even compare it with BMW 3 series, you know, so you can see the whole picture. But before we begin I really recommend you to check other videos on my channel, for example about things I hate and I like in my Mercedes or how I get scammed on car sharing platform called Turo and many other interesting videos so subscribe to my channel please hit that like button it really helps to grow my channel and we begin so before buying first of all you have to understand that Mercedes is cars that you will probably have to invest some money in because it's not a Toyota you can buy Toyota drive it for five years and it will have no issues at all but at some point you want more luxury in your car and that's when you face Mercedes BMW and Audi because you have to admit they make a best looking cars best looking interiors and overall people love this car so I found some statistics and I wrote down all the things that broke in my Mercedes and my girlfriend's Mercedes and results are interesting so at first let's start from the online rating and then I'll tell you if I agree with it or not so in luxury category Mercedes got 3.5 out of 5 points and it actually says that it's above average they estimate average total annual cost for repairs and maintenance on a Mercedes C300 100, around $750 and usually only 9% of problems you face are serious let's go straight to the BMW I also owned one it got just three points out of five so they grade it as an average they estimate that you will pay around $800 for repair and maintenance they also say that a lot of BMW owners will have to go car body shop frequency here is 0.95 and it's a lot because average for luxury cars is 0.4 and on a BMW 12% or problems caused by something serious but I can't really agree with it I had my BMW 328 and I had no problems at all I've never even had check engine on it it had around 55,000 miles I got my car with 39,000 miles now it has 50,000 miles so pretty close my girlfriend drives her Mercedes for a year and now it has 59,000 miles I believe so they all are pretty close mileage is almost the same and on my BMW I didn't have any problems at all because that generation of BMWs had a really reliable engine and if we separate Mercedes and BMW usually BMWs have problems with engines if we take all of the statistics and Mercedes's are well known for electronical problems and I can agree with that so on my Mercedes I didn't have any major issues but my seat ripped and it's very common problem trunk didn't want to close properly so I had to go to the dealership I had a strong fuel odor coming from an engine and dealer fixed it for free because they had a recall for a specific pipe that caused a gas leak. I got all of them in around 6 months. And what's about my girlfriend's car? It always has some kinds of problems. She owns it for a year and at first she had a problem with the sunroof. It didn't want to close properly. It had this small noise that was coming from it. She doesn't have warranty. Her car is 2016 minus 2017. Mercedes has four year warranty or 50,000 mile warranty. Which one comes first? And she had to pay to remove the sunroof, replace mounts, put it back. Then she got problem with the backup camera. It just stopped working. I was trying to fix it but as it appeared it just completely lost connection with main module so they had to remove half of the interior to fix it and guess what eight nine months later she got same problem now after that out of nowhere she got problem called active hood malfunction I fixed it with an OBD reader but just why she had to replace windshield because I have to admit it cracks really easily I already got one or two small cracks she had some issues with entertainment system and basically that's what people tell about Mercedes's BMWs have issues with engines Mercedes's have issues with electronics so I can't call it an absolute truth because I had only one BMW and I can tell you about two more 
Mercedes's, but from my experience, Mercedes's have more issues. But I also have a friend who has a five-year-old BMW and he already replaced two engines. So I believe it depends on mileage, how you use it, how aggressively you drive, and a lot of small things that can cause small issues. I hope you like this video. I wasn't uploading for a previous three days because we have a rainy storms in Sacramento. I can't even record outside, but please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button and have a great day.